a lot of you are here today because you're curious about PAYA. A lot of you are members of the Public Affairs Alliance of Iranian Americans. And some of you are wondering why I joined the Public Affairs Alliance of Iranian Americans. I want to give you a personal story that happened to me a few years back when my father got cancer. And um, his last dying wish was to see his little sister who lived in Iran. And I thought, because I was born in America, and I had this tremendous career at CNN, uh, that I would have no problem delivering that for him. But post 9-11, boy was I wrong. Despite all of our individual achievements, and there are so many, we Iranian Americans have a lot of problems in our community that we can collectively solve if we come together. And that's what PAYA is for. PAYA is basically, a, an organization which is not nonprofit. It's nonpartisan. It has um, no religious affiliations, and it is here to bring us together, like tonight, to build our image and to give us a voice on the hill. Because it's truly sad that when you look at individually what we've managed to achieve, and you're going to meet them here on our stage tonight. Some of the most incredible Iranian Americans I know like Anusha Ansari, who became the first space tourist, like Christiane Amanpour, who's just trailblazed the world, bringing us all of the interesting stories of our times, like uh, Omid Kordistani, who is head of Google, like Salar Kamangar, who's head of YouTube, uh, like Pardi Sabati, who's also here tonight, who wrote an algorithm which explains the effects of genetics on the evolution of disease. What does that mean? That means that someday, because of this beautiful woman, we might be able to cure diseases like malaria and tuberculosis that evolve. And again, when you look at what we've managed to accomplish, it's really sad that we haven't been able to capitalize on that in a way that can benefit our com community on issues that we all really it matters to all of that, all of us, which is edu education, things that are happening in our own backyard, uh, even something as simple as getting our holiday Noru's on the map, which is what Paya did with the effort of a lot of other people in our community. Now, well, how many times should we celebrate Sanka de Mayo and uh, what is the other one, uh, St. Patrick's Day? Why not celebrate Noru's? And now it's finally on our calendars. Thanks to Paya. <laughs> Iran matters so much to me. Everything about it matters to me, but so does America. And I live here in America, and so do all of you. And unless we come together on issues that matter to us, we cannot achieve them. So welcome tonight, welcome to our Paya family. I hope you all take advantage of these beautiful speeches that are here to bring our next generation closer to us, to give, us, give our next generation tips and how they can achieve, how they can be bastions in their community, and how they can reach for the stars and go there. I hope you enjoy our evening tonight.